Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are saying goodbye to this beautiful fall setup with the die cut and the felties and goodbye to the coral planner because winter is coming and it is time to get all gussied up in my planner. I'm going back to the black and white because I think it's going to give me a really nice um, background that's neutral for all of my seasonal felties. And yeah, I've already loaded it up with my December from my Erin Condren, which I use for my social and family planning stuff, and then my Recollections December, which I use for finances and fitness. I'm gonna need to put down a dashboard, and this one is from 13 Hours Creations. It's a little elf that says, planning's my favorite. And I absolutely love her shop because you can order just a cover if that's all you need. You don't have to deal with a back that you might not ever use or really even look at. And she lets you order things unpunched, which for somebody like me, that is perfect. I have to use an Erin Condren cover as my dashboard because typical A5 inserts are not as wide as an Erin Condren. And if I order a typical A5 dashboard, there's gonna be like an inch or two of paper from my planner sticking out on the edge and that just doesn't look cute. So I love it when I find a shop that allows me to do just a cover that I can transition into a dashboard on my own. It is time to decorate the inside flap with all of my seasonal felties. So I went into my felty mini binder and dumped out the pouch that has all of my winter and Christmas stuff in it. Almost everything is from Shepherd Supply Company except for the little ugly Christmas sweater, which is by the Book Nook Patch. And then there are those three larger ones, which was actually a DIY project that I did last winter. Those were felt topped pens that were in the dollar section at Target and I just ripped the pen off and I glued on a paper clip instead. It's not cute. I thought it was last year, but compared to all of this awesomeness, it is not. <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and start plugging them in and messing around with different positions. I try to space similar designs a little bit apart so that it's not just like, you know, two Christmas trees right next to each other. And I try to space out the colors as well. But it's really just whatever I think looks nice to me. I like to keep all of my felties for the season in the front of my pockets because I don't use those pockets for anything else. And I do like to try and match a feltie to my weekly spread each week. So when I finish my plan with me for my weekly view, I can just flip to the front, grab something that matches without having to go digging into binders and stuff. I did end up bringing in this felt gingerbread man just because the bottom was looking kind of sparse. I think I'm gonna get a die cut like that turkey from fall to put down there, but yeah, we'll see. I'm thinking maybe a snowman because I don't have a snowman in there. Speaking of, I really wanted to put in a snowman, but I don't like that at all. So I think, yep, nope, not going with Santa either. We're gonna stick with our mug of hot chocolate. And there we go, I think it looks great. Very pretty, it's very festive. As soon as I open up my binder, beautiful. All right, so time to jump right into our December monthly view. And surprise, surprise, I went with the monthly view kit from Bubba Bear Studios. I've used her monthly view ever since she started making them in September. I think the format is fantastic. It comes with a ton of stuff and it's not too much stuff. It's just, it's perfect for me in the way I do my monthly views. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by sticking the header stickers up at the very top. I really, really love the blues and the greens and how it's wintry and also Christmassy, but not like in your face Christmas. It's got those pops of red, but it's not like, oh, hey, Christmas isn't your holiday, but it's the only option you have for your monthly view. You know what I mean? Like, just because I celebrate Christmas, it doesn't mean I want Christmas all over my monthly view. And of course, laying down that November cover 
sticker. I was lining up the Wednesday side and accidentally pushed down the Sunday side. So I'm doing the peel and pray right here. And luckily nothing ripped. So hooray for that. I think what's throwing me off is that I don't normally do my planning with the pages in the binder. I normally have them on their own. And I always have things upside down because for me, it's easier to line things up straight when it's upside down. Why? I have no idea. It just is. While it's upside down, I'm going to go ahead and put in my numbers. All right, next up I'm going to take some of this skinny washi and lay it down to mark my children's winter break from school. This strip is just a little bit too short though, so I'm going to take the leftover from the Thursday through Saturday end and rip it off using my metal ruler just for a nice clean edge. I'm going to just place it right there. I was going to cover where they meet with some deco, but you really can't tell when you're looking at it, and I'm not going to be paying super close attention to that part of my planner, so I'm just going to leave it how it is. I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the other days. Maybe it's just me, but I hate it when the 31st doesn't fit on there, like in its own little week, and they have to share boxes. I get all anxious, like, oh, what if I have more that I want to put in that box than fits in that box? Then what? What makes the cut and what doesn't? Maybe I'm just weird, but I just <laughs> I don't like it when my monthly days have to share boxes. All right, I'm putting down the little third box with the mountains in it to mark my husband's birthday, but we also have a pack meeting, so I'm going to put down a quarter box, move some of these post-it notes out of the way. This kit does come with a bunch of coordinating little birthday cakes, so I may as well put one down for his birthday. And then I'm gonna use the other third box up at the very top, but since it has a white center and I don't want it to shadow, I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the goals part with some white out. There we go. And then I'm gonna put down four of the five check boxes that come for the sidebar. If I were to not use that third of a box at the very top, then all five would fit in there. But because I put it there, that fifth one doesn't fit, but I'm gonna fill it in with something later. We've got a whole bunch of holiday parties and things going on, so I'm gonna start laying down some of these blank scheduling labels that come with the kit. And then I'm gonna put down some of these, ew, bills stickers down on all of the days that we have an automatic payment going through. I normally do all of my finances and stuff on my secondary monthly view, but this is the one that I reference when I'm preparing to plan out my week. So it's helpful for me to see when we have an automatic payment so that I can transfer that over to my weekly view. Same with Trash Eve. Trash day is Wednesday, but they come at like three in the morning or something ridiculous. So my son has to take out the trash cans Tuesday night before bed. My husband or I get paid every Friday and I've only got four little things to mark payday. So I'm gonna use the little rent due house over there on the first to mark that that's what that whole paycheck basically is going towards. And I'm gonna use some of these individual checklist strips that come with the kit to fill in that bottom space. Time to write. I'm going to use my favorite style of pen, which is the Inkjoy Gel in a 0.7, and this is red. Normally, I'm a fan of the black ink, but 
why not just kick up the festiveness a little bit and use red? Sticker break. I thought of a couple things that I wanted to throw in there. So I'm gonna grab a little camera by the Anxious Planner to mark family pictures. And then a silver foiled happy birthday script sticker by Adorably Amy on my husband's birthday box. Pack meeting gets marked with a black paw by Above Bear Studios. And then I'm whipping out this page of ugly sweater munchkins from Once More With Love. These were from last year, but I still have some, so why not use it along with some of the deco from the kit to decorate those labels that mark the various holiday parties that we have to go to. And let's go back to writing. I did forget to do some of them and I need to fill in my sidebar still. It drives me crazy that I messed up right there writing this. I'll probably change it at some point. And I started writing in some of the things for the sidebar before I realized that everything I store in there is in my phone, which I'm filming on. So I have to do that later too. But this is how it turned out and I absolutely love it. I think it is so, so fun. Oh, it makes me happy. My husband doesn't let us decorate before December 1st because Christmas always took over his birthday, but he has no say in what I do in my planner. Here's some fun kits that I'm going to be using this season. City Sidewalks and Up North by Shepherd Supply Company. Hipster Christmas by Baba Bear Studios. And then I've got a couple of really great printables, including a Christmas at Hogwarts one. I'm so excited. I'm going to grab the leftovers from my monthly view and just tuck them in this front pocket so I can add stuff when I need to. And then we're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, let me know down below and tell me what you are most looking forward to when it comes to getting ready for the holiday season. I will see you later on this week for yet another video. Bye-bye.